We call the video. Mm, yeah. We're talking about hammer corals, but what? Hammer coral what? Hammer coral not happy? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What, can we do it after? <laughs> hey YouTubers, our hammer coral is not happy. That's the video? That's sure. Hey YouTubers. How do people look that up often? I don't know. Hammers. I looked it up recently actually. And what did you type in Google? I typed in hammer coral shrinking polish. Something like that. Why is my hammer coral not doing well? Yeah. Let's go with that. Hey YouTubers, fellow reefers, uh, Fragbox TV here. Our hammer coral isn't doing terribly well in our cheap nano reef, so let's talk about it. Do you think they know that every time I'm shooting, I go, I do the bum 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 I really like that song. Okay, we took out the frog spun. Wasn't doing terribly well. And hammer doesn't look too good. Everything else looks more or less good. What do we think? Yeah? Yeah, it looks good. Trumpet, good. Clothes, good. Yeah, a little puffier. Aiken. Yeah, more or less. Everything's happy. These guys are pumping away. We added the power head. But LPS, Euphilia, hammer. Uh -uh. Why? So what do we do? What do we check? Magnesium. Magnesium and nitrate. Magnesium and nitrate. What are our nitrates at? Almost zero. Almost zero. So the tank's still pretty clean. One fish. We don't feed too much. But magnesium, me and Tia are in a little bit of a disagreement here. What did we get as a magnesium level? 1250. 1250. March says too low. Tia says too low, but not probably not why it's dying so fast. Too low, but not enough to piss off a hammer. No, no. So. Enough to piss off a hammer, but not enough to kill it. How do we test their theory? We do a water change. Or add magnesium. Hammer March. does well. March is right. Add magnesium. Sure. Hammer still looks like shit. I'm wrong. It's something else. So let's try that. Let's. We're going to use this one right here. Going with the Red Sea. Shout out Red Sea. Magnesium should be 1250, but uh, it could be worse. It's really low. Yeah. It is low. It yeah. is like 100 points under what it should be. I don't understand. Yeah. I really like Red Sea. I like the products. You guys have the largest section of products in our store and we run your reefers because we love them not one but two of them really really like it but if you follow the directions on their bottles they're going to tell you that your magnesium is okay between what 1250 and 1350. the idea behind nano tanks is that you don't dose it like these little ones yeah why you do large water changes once a week and you maintain it that way Just trying to make it easy i think dosing is easy yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I think a lot of reefers get intimidated by dosing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like low on, I'm low on magnesium. I'm gonna add magnesium. Yeah. Okay, we got sidetracked. It's hard to make videos during the day. Phone rings, people show up. What I wanted to say was I love Red Sea. I don't agree with them with these numbers here on the back of the bottle. This is a lord a load of um caca. I don't know if am I allowed to swear? Poppycock. Poppycock? Yeah. That sounds like I don't think I can swear on YouTube. I'm not swearing anyways. <laughs> They're saying here, mix reef 1350. I think I think that's bare minimum. That's quite low. And they're saying shoot for that level. And then I don't understand why an ultra low and SPS dominated, you want even lower than that. I'm going even higher than this. I'm looking for 15 to 1600. I'm telling you, you know, usually I say from my experience, no, I'm saying with a fact, you ain't gonna hurt nothing in your tank if you go 1500 meg. Bump it up, your LPS are gonna love you. They're gonna look way fatter. Huh? The snails what? I'm gonna put they you die. in a coma. They, like, fall off the glass. <laughs> they do not. I think you should recommend 1400 to 1500. Fine, I will. I will compromise. 1450. Yeah. Is that safe? Good 1450. You happy you did one with 1450? <laughs> the snails won't go in a coma. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's also, happy. It does. Yeah. Actually, you can beat some algae in your tank with higher magnesium. But that's a whole other video. Red Sea says that for this five-gallon tank, we need 20 mils of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and. Add. These very handy syringes we have here in store if you're ever looking for one. Will you be my magnesium girl for the day? For sure. Okay. Hit it. Okay. Do 20? Sure. Do 25 most. Mag is one of those things you can put. It takes a lot of mag to make it move very little in a reef tank. So this is a lot going into a little tank. It it's is gonna cool. increase it by over a hundred parts. 
100 it's parts. Yeah, the, not recommended. I think 100 parts a day is safe. No, she's gonna put it. She's putting it here in the filter because high flow. High flow, lots of time to mix. And now we're gonna see if I'm right, if the low mag is affecting the hammer, or if Tia's right. Wait, what's your? I'm I saying it's, it's mag, and you're saying it's something else. I think it's a combination, not just mag. Did you just change your answer? No, I didn't. Are you saying it is low mag plus something else? It's a mix, yeah. Oh wow! I'm going. <laughs> You know what's cool about recording stuff? I can go back and yeah. see what you said. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. We'll give it how many days? Like an hour. We're going to get it up to an hour. We're going to get up to <laughs> 1500. Give it some time. And then we're going to see how this hammer coral is doing. I'm and put a froggy back in. who's buying who? Sushi. Did we just make a bet? I think we made a bet. Huzzah. Okay, so it's been one day. Hammer is looking um, quite a bit better. Let's test the magnesium and see what we're sitting at. Camera content. So we were at 12, what, yesterday? 12.70. And now? 13.70. Oh, so the mag has gone up, and the <laughs> hammer's looking better. Interesting. Mm. So let's do this every day for what, three more days? Sure. Until we hit 1,500? Okay. Yeah, once we hit 1,500, <laughs> I will win the bet, because yeah. that's what's going on here, I think. But let's see, we'll keep doing this every day for a couple more days. Dosing like a crazy man, yeah. Oh my god. I've been dosing. Such a so oh. we're over, did you just call me a crackhead? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, well, there it is. Color change. What are we at now? Mm, Day four. We are at 1650. 1650. Okay. Mm. 1650. Quite high. 1650. How are we looking? Oh, sorry. Shaky camera. How are we looking? Looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Why are you not saying it looks good? Don't you think it looks good? I, I think it looks good. <laughs> so maybe the low magnesium was the uh, was the issue, huh? I, you're right. Ah! I I magnesium can't, can't was the it. sole problem. I got Great. it Ophelia on problems. camera. She said it. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that was the issue here. I think. Yeah. Yeah, magnesium. Yeah. It was low. Camera looked like crap. Uh, takes looking quite a bit different from the last few. I keep shooting a little bit every day. Who the hell put this beautiful rainbow A can here? I think Fabio. What a he's a crackhead, not me. What a crackhead. That's like a hundred and fifty dollar A can he threw in there. Anyways, low magnesium will definitely affect euphelia, hammers, frog spawn, torches, all that fun stuff. I think that you should keep it around fifteen hundred in your tank. Is that what we're agreeing on? Keep it high. Just keep, keep it high. Keep your tank high like fabio uh 1500 <laughs> and up you're not going to hurt anything i was literally dosing this is a five gallon tank 25 mils of mag straight shot from the red sea into the tank i think a lot of people get nervous about dosing um if you haven't done it before it's intimidating i remember being intimidated when i first started dosing and i tried to prolong it and not do it for as long as possible it's really simple the mag is low add magnesium you're not going to hurt anything in your tank we're sitting today at 1650 uh, elevated mag and as you can see everything's doing great lps actually thrive under higher magnesium i know this wasn't here uh, a couple days ago but we're starting to build out the acan garden anyways i think that's it for today talking hammers magnesiums if you guys got any questions you can always comment below or hit us up i'll leave our contact info at the end of the video is that it that's we'll leave them with that we, we haven't given away anything in a while okay so we're going to give this away you just got to be here, local, in Canada. You don't have to be in Toronto. And the way to win, you have to be subscribed to the channel, Fragbox TV. And like then the you have to guess like what? The video. It's like the video. What are you talking about? Stop. You're ruining my video. But it's subscribe to the video. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, you're right. Sorry. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. And you got to guess Dylan's favorite coral. You can guess Dylan's favorite coral. Ah, two favorites. Oh, two things. Guess Dylan's favorite coral. I'm gonna give you this for free. Test kit and the Red Sea Mag. The keys to success for your euphilia. Guess Dylan's favorite coral. Comment below. First person to get it right within Canada. You're gonna get this for free. Thanks for watching guys. This is Fragbox TV and happy refix.